Well, in just over 10 days, 10 days, the names of dozens of people associated with disgraced financial tycoon Jeffrey Epstein will be released. A judge ruling on that on Tuesday that many of these names are already public. For others named in court documents, the judge says they're not salacious and should not be kept sealed. Our Dre Clark is live in New York City this morning with more on this ruling. Dre. Yeah, good morning. We're here outside the uh, federal courthouse here in lower Manhattan, and this is where Judge Loretta Preska has ordered that January 1st release date of more than 170 names associated with a civil lawsuit that was settled uh, some time ago here. Uh, but many of those names that will be released are Jeffrey Epstein's close friends, associates, and some of his victims. Now, the judge is also allowing those individuals uh, who would like to keep their names concealed or redacted uh, to file an appeal to make their case before the release of those names in less than two weeks. Now, many of those names that will come out certainly are known and notable, including uh, former presidents, but they are all part of a now settled civil lawsuit against Ghislaine Maxwell brought by Virginia Dufre. Now, Dufre accused Maxwell of helping Epstein abuse her by arranging travel plans along with setting up meeting times and places around the world to facilitate her sexual abuse. Maxwell is now serving 20 years in a federal prison after she was convicted in 2021 for her role in a scheme to sexually exploit and abuse multiple teenage girls with Epstein over a 10-year period. Now, Epstein died by suicide in a Manhattan federal jail in 2019 while awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges. The judge also noting in her order that some of the names that will be released have already been revealed because some of those individuals have spoken publicly about their relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Meanwhile, at least 11 names will not be released, including eight people who have been identified as minor victims of sexual abuse. Last night on Banfield, criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Josh Schiffer talked about why some people are desperately fighting to have their names redacted. So there's a lot of reasons someone wouldn't want their name associated with someone whose name is literally everything bad in high society and regular society, for that matter. Um, so if you were someone of particular current relevant importance, think someone big in finance, think someone big in politics, Jeffrey Epstein knew everyone. When you said earlier he, he palled around with royalty, now, Virginia Dufre also has accused Britain's Prince Andrew of sexually assaulting her uh, when she was 17 years old and being sexually trafficked by Jeffrey Epstein. Both Prince Andrew and Epstein were very known associates. Uh, now, Prince Andrew has denied those claims. However, he did agree to pay Dufre a multi-million dollar settlement. Adrian. All right. Thank you very much, Dre, for your report. Joining Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.